Hey everyone, I'm Casey Walker, and I just want to share a few thoughts with you today on prayer. Prayer is a very intimate and personal thing to me, and I, I feel like it's so powerful um, when we engage in a prayer life with Jesus. And throughout the New Testament, Jesus modeled all the times he would pull away from his busy day, and he would go up to the mountaintop, he would spend the night in prayer, but he would just pour out his heart in prayer. And throughout scripture, we see people um, calling out in thanksgiving to the Lord, calling out in times of distress and calling out to him in tears, um, asking for his help. And I love that. I love in Jeremiah 33.3, 3, it says, call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. This tells me that it's a two-way conversation. When you pray, it isn't just about you talking to God. It's about calling to Him so He can sit with us and tell us things that we need to know, things He wants us to know. My favorite scripture in the entire Bible is this, Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I'm God. Sometimes our prayer time is just sitting in His presence and allowing Him to wrap His arms around us and just being present with Him. But I just want to challenge you guys. When I was in seminary, I had a youth ministry professor that took us through a whole study in prayer. And I loved all the great things we did with that. But one thing that really stuck out with me that I've carried for the rest of my life. He said, I want you to get up in the morning and I want you to open your conversation with God. And I don't want you to close it until the end of your day. And at first it was a little awkward to get up in the morning and go, hey God. And that was it. Um, but as I would go on throughout the day, I would begin to just breathe in the name of Jesus. And I would breathe out things like stress, something I needed Him to take from me. Or peace, something I needed from Him. Or sometimes it was Thanksgiving. Or praying specifically for another person. But I would begin to carry that throughout the day. He would just begin to show me more and more of who He was and what He wanted from me. And so I just want to challenge you to try that, to try a new way of prayer and just make it more um, real in your life. Two things I want to invite you to is in church, we're handing out a prayer journal and I invite you to go over there and continue our time with some scriptures that's written in that journal. Also in the um, Bible app, um, the U version, they have a refresh page that has scriptures, devotionals of the day, guided prayer journeys. Another resource for you to use if you're wanting to continue to grow in your faith with God. But instead of me closing my time in prayer with you right now, I'm going to invite you to go from here and just open up a conversation with God and keep it open and see what he wants to do. Bye, you guys.